clearly I just had such a solid workout this morning. I have not sweat like that in a workout in the longest time and it felt incredible, but it is so, so, so hot out today. So I'm gonna go home, freshen up and shower and then make a smoothie. I'm craving a smoothie this morning just because it is so hot and that sounds incredibly refreshing. Like a good old green smoothie. Plus I made it a few days ago, actually like a couple weeks ago too. And I was hooked on it, it is so good. And I'm not one that like craves smoothies, so that's when you know it's a bomb smoothie. Anyways, let's go home, get ready for the day. Super simple ingredients for the protein smoothie. You just need arugula, frozen strawberries, or frozen raspberries. I like either mango, chia seeds, almond butter, of course, some sort of milk to thicken it up a little bit. So you could do almond milk, cashew milk, oat milk, regular milk, whatever you prefer. And then lastly, my favorite protein powder. I have this linked on my Amazon storefront. This makes the smoothie. It is so good. It's the Natrieve grass-fed whey protein, maple pecan donut flavor. It's the bomb. They also have other flavors that I love as well. So everything is linked in my Amazon in terms of like the protein powders that I like. But yeah, it's such a good smoothie. I love it. shop and I'm so excited because what gives you more serotonin than some cute little puppies especially today because it's been raining ever since I got back from my workout this morning so I just finished up some computer work and I kind of spent the morning just sitting on my computer getting a few things done which is nice that is one good thing about like gloomy days it kind of forces me to slow down and just relax and take it easy a bit because when it's bright and sunny I constantly feel the need to like be on the go or be outside or doing something productive or doing things with friends whatever it is and in Tampa it's sunny pretty much 24 7 so I was telling one of my friends the other day I'm like I'm craving just a gloomy like rainy day and here we are so cannot complain that's for sure but I'm gonna get ready and then head on out for a couple hours. It'll be nice to get out of my apartment and kind of just get off my computer for a bit. But you guys, what if I want a dog? Like, this is not gonna be good for me. I really, really want one, but I just know at this point in my life, like I don't have the responsibility or flexibility to have a puppy right now. But like, holy moly, would that just be the best, the best thing ever. Like. I want a mini golden doodle like no other. That's my dream puppy. And I have a very specific type and breed that I want. And I want one that's mini, but not too mini. And big, but not too big. Like the perfect in-between size. One of my mom's best friends has the exact dog that I want. And it's literally like a human in a puppy form. And it's so stinking cute. So one day I'll definitely have one, but I would love for my future puppy to have like its own yard and everything. Definitely not like apartment style living. I would not like to have a dog in these circumstances. It's just too tight of a space and not very convenient, you know? But we're still gonna go look today with my friends. Not for me, but just for, for fun, why not, you know?
before I head on out, here's the little outfit of the day. I'm just wearing this Aritzia romper and then over top of it, this scuba pullover from Lulu. It's in like the white opal color. I'll leave it linked down below for you guys. My hat is from my management team, this little Table Rock trucker hat. And then my favorite New Balance sneakers. They're so cute. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Hi. Guys, this golden doodle is the cutest thing in the entire world. Hi. You are so cute. So much later, I'm just finishing up my makeup right now because my friend Madison and I are going out with my guy friends in St. Pete tonight, which I've only been to St. Pete once since living here, which is crazy. And I'm looking forward to it because it's definitely like a different going out vibe than Tampa, supposedly. So that should be really fun. Even though the weather isn't the best, it's okay. I'm like the type of person that would totally cancel. I tried canceling like four million different times. But guys will go out no matter what. But for girls, it's like the humidity, it's gonna mess up my hair. Also, you know, I gotta know the plan before I get ready so I know if it's worth getting ready for. You know, like guys can just be ready in five minutes and be ready to go out. But on the other hand, us girls, not the case. So. Finishing up the makeup look, but I'm just wearing these cargo pants from Abercrombie. These are like my go-to pair of pants. They're so comfy. And then just this black tank from Princess Polly. Just like a super like street style kind of casual outfit tonight because St. Pete, I feel like is more of a chill bar scene. Whereas Tampa, like when you go downtown Tampa, I like to wear like leather pants and a fun top or a little mini dress and heels. But for this outfit, I'm like, I don't know what to wear. I have like white Puma sneakers that I could pair with this, or I could dress it up and wear like little black kitten heels, which I always wear those. The ones from Princess Polly because they're super comfortable, but I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna put together the last couple things for the outfit, get everything in my purse, and then we'll head on out. Good morning, happy Sunday. Today is definitely gonna be a very Sunday type of Sunday. I just wanna sit on my couch all day long today and edit, that's pretty much what I have to do. So we're gonna take care of that. I did all of my productive type of things this morning. Freshened up, showered, and then took care of dishes in my dishwasher. Just started a load of laundry. So we got that going and I'm like, that's all I'm gonna do. Now I'm gonna plant myself on the couch and edit for a bit. But last night was so, so, so much fun. I really love St. Pete, like it's definitely more of that hometown going out experience that I'm used to like back in Minnesota, so I love that, it was just like a very chill, fun night, but I did get some Amazon packages, random, got some Amazon packages delivered last night and I wanted to unbox them for you guys because I'm excited about everything that I got, so let's do it. Let's unbox some Amazon packages, we'll start with this big one. I don't remember which stuff got delivered, so this will be a little surprise. Nothing like some boxes inside of some boxes, right? I'm pretty sure these are the cups that I ordered, which are so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, they're so cute. I love them. They're definitely a little small for my personal serving size preference of coffee. But just for the aesthetics, like that, come on, that is so cute. Maybe matcha I could put in there because I like matcha, but I don't like a lot of it, you know? So this is beautiful. How freaking fun. This just elevated my morning routine. I'll leave them linked down below for you guys. 
Oh, I think this is the vase that I ordered. Look at how stinking cute this vase is. I'm like really into the organic look of furniture in an apartment, so I think I'm gonna sell my coffee table on Facebook Marketplace and switch it out for this other one that I found on Amazon that is literally stunning. I just have to order it. But it's more of that like organic, like earthy type of look. And this vase is as well. Like imagine this on my nightstand in my bedroom with some tulips in it. That is so stinking cute. Fake tulips, of course, because I cannot keep real flowers alive to save my life. So that's fun. And then I think these actually might be the tulips. Sometimes I like add things to cart and I forget which items I actually end up checking out because I'm the type of person that will online shop and I have a cart saved and then I just never check out. Like I'll probably sit on a cart for weeks. Like for example, everything that I ordered in this Amazon order, like was probably sitting in my cart for at least a month and a half before actually pressing order. <laughs> Lots of this is like room decor stuff or just decor in general because you guys know I'm in the process of transforming my room or not even transforming my room just decorating my room oh my god love 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 this oh my gosh this is so cute i want to put this on my desk i love this or my nightside table i don't really know but those are so cute and then these are the fake tulips look at all these Gosh, I love the pink color of this. It's like a gradient pink style. Because I have artificial tulips over there and they're white and I really, really like how they look in the vase in my kitchen. So I'm gonna try to make something for my bedroom. This could be kind of cute. Actually, I don't know if I like it in this. I feel like this vase actually needs legit real flowers. But this one I could do a fake tulip moment if they fit. Okay, this actually looks so cute. Do I need to cut them down? Do you guys think I should cut them down or do you kind of like the look of the tulips being pretty tall in the vase? I don't know, I'll have to play around with it and kind of decorate it in my room and everything. But everything that I got will be linked to my Amazon storefront. Everything that I ever ordered from Amazon for my apartment is always in my apartment decor little shop. Anyways, until further notice, I'm gonna be sitting on this couch today, getting my work done. So I'm gonna end off the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Love you all so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.